Hi, my name is Steve Miller and I'll be your professor for Abnormal Psychology. Now I think you're going to enjoy this course. I hope you can pull something out of this that you could use or just broaden your horizons about what psychological disorders are all about. There's an awful lot of misunderstandings about psychological disorders and that's going to relate to the assignment. You'll find that out in a little bit. So this is a gen ed course. Now just in case you're wondering, every program at Georgian College will be offering two, three, or four gen eds per program. And it's intended just to broaden your horizons so that you don't just get one dimensionally focused on your core courses. This helps you broaden your perspective and broaden your overview of the world, if you will. And abnormal psychology is just one of the 72 gen eds that are offered uh, through Georgian College. Now there are a few things that we're going to need to review first before getting started in this course. And this orientation video that you're watching, and please watch it through to the end, is one of those things that is important. There is an orientation quiz that will be available for you, and I'll walk you through where it is. And it's open on September 3rd at 9 a.m. and it will close on September 20th at 5 p.m. So that's almost three weeks. And it's a quiz at the end on the 30th. Well, it's a quiz that's available all through that three weeks. And it's basically 10 multiple choice true and false questions about content in this video that you're watching now and your syllabus. Now, in this video that I'm going to be doing on a Blackboard orientation, I'm going to do a variety of things, and I'll list a few of them. We're going to talk about what does asynchronous mean to this course. We're going to I'll walk you through where you need to get everything that you need for this course, your syllabus, the assignments, and what's expected. You know, where do you post your assignment? Where do you find the tests that you need to write? How do you write the test if you've never written an online test before? and contact information. How do you reach out to me? Do I do MS Teams? Do I meet virtually? What's the protocol? All of this is going to be covered in this video. So without further ado, we're going to get a start here. Now, I'll begin by saying that this course is asynchronous. Now, asynchronous just means you can take this course any time of the day, any day of the week. It doesn't matter when you sign in and go into Blackboard. That's what we're seeing in the behind me there is the Blackboard shell that is ours for abnormal psychology. You can go into this shell and do your content, write your test, post your assignment any hour of the day, any day of the week. Just need to follow week one, week two, week three, according to the calendar and the syllabus, like all the other courses that you take. Now the other courses you'll likely take are synchronous courses. That just means everybody arrives at the same place at the same time in the same location and take the same content all together. Asynchronous doesn't apply. So you can take this course whenever it fits. I'd recommend that while you're putting together your semester by looking at what courses in your synchronous life are doing and when you're going to do your homework, find three hours to dedicate to this class, your Gen Ed, as well. Now the other thing I did mention, it's a paramount with asynchronous for time management because you don't have to meet with anybody at any particular time. It's on you to get into Blackboard and follow the syllabus and access content. If you don't put it in a calendar, my experience has been many students forget that they've got this course and miss gradable items. Once you've missed them, I cannot reopen them. They will be closed and you've missed those opportunities. So please use a calendar and get it all organized. You will be better off for having done so. The other thing we'll touch base on, and I will get to it in a little bit, is that we do have a textbook for this course. It's an e-text and I'll show you how to access it. It is a textbook that you will access online. Now, as far as abnormal psychology as a subject, now, this is a survey course. What I'm meaning by that is, it's not going to go into extremely de extreme depth on any of the subjects, but it is going to be an overview of all of them. 
And what's important is to get a clear measure of what is a psychological order, disorder rather than the popular view. So we're going to be introducing psychology of abnormal behavior. And what's going to happen here is that we're going to be exploring the definitions of psychopathology. Now, let's break that down a little bit. For clarity, psych, the P-S-Y-C-H-E, that means mind through Latin. The patho, P-A-T-H-O, patho means illness, and ology means study. So we're going to study the illnesses of the mind. Now that's a a Latin interpretation. We don't describe things quite that same way in today's parlance. Now, what we will be covering is uh, we're going to explore the classifications of abnormal behavior, and we're going to be invited to develop uh, a deeper understanding of the connections between the causes of these behaviors and the different treatment approaches. So I'm hopeful that you'll get a much more accurate perspective about what is a psychological disorder and what is not. Something I'll say here now, and I'll repeat almost every week, please do not self-diagnose or diagnose anybody else. We are not statisticians or diagnosticians. And unless you have a functional working definitions from the DSMR-5 and have years of experience making diagnoses, we shouldn't be making them. So please don't make them on anybody or yourself. Okay, now what I can do now is I'm going to walk you through everything that we need to do in Blackboard, but I'm going to take away my picture and picture here. And we'll get started on over here on this, the Blackboard shell. Okay, so here I'm going to disappear. Great. Now, where we are right now, this is the intro page of our shell. And we're in the content section. These are tabs across the top. There are different locations that you can go. And I'm just going to walk you through them. The content page is where all of the content, there's your syllabus, assignment, and journals, that's how to contact me, there's where your tests are going to be, that's where your assignment posting will be, and here are your journals. And then week by week, content. The calendar, you can choose to use this or not. You can create your own calendar as long as you can see it regularly and access it when you need it. The calendar here will take all of the due dates. Now, in my class, tests are open for five days, Monday to Friday. The journals are open for two weeks, and the assignment is, is open and from week one through to week 11. So you can do the assignment anytime you want, but you need to do the tests and the journals on the time specified. And so that's where the calendar comes in very handy. And you may find this one works well for you. You may find your own that works better. Announcements. There will be announcements on a fairly regular basis. So please ensure that you check them. There will be a little number up above here that indicates there's one or two or three different announcements. We don't use discussions in this class. Gradebook is a place you will want to frequent. Now, if I click on here, you'll see that currently these are all the things that are going to be expected. There's a journal 2, 3, 4, and a 5. This is journal 1, the quiz. Then this is your, your assignment and three tests. That's all the gradable material that we'll be doing in this semester with this class. La uh, not lastly, but yes, lastly in terms of our use, messages. Now you can message me this way, you can message classmates, I can message you. So when you see a red dot above here, there might be a number one, two, three, four, five. That just indicates how many messages are available and they will be uh, allocated based on the courses that you take. So you will determine who's messaging you by clicking here. I can do it now but there's nothing there at this point. It's pre-opening and pre-anybody using it, so there's nothing there at this point. 
and I don't think we'll need analytics and we don't use groups. But what I so what I want to spend my time on in this particular um, orientation is let's look at what we have here. Now the essential courses, uh, course essentials, there's just some very basics, doesn't take a lot of time to go through. In here we've got the introduction to getting started where I've posted the orientation video in here. We have our land acknowledgement and some resources uh, for Blackboard navigation, some of which are in the video that I made here in the orientation video. Now if we scroll down a little bit more, there is a section that dedicated to you, uh, the student, the introduction, introducing you to the student's uh, support systems that are available through Georgian, the student success supports and how to locate them and what's available, as well as the Blackboard Ultra support for students. All very useful, all here all semester, so you can always come back to it at some point if you need to. Now here's the one that's most important to get started right at the very beginning, and this is your syllabus, your assignment, and journal documents and videos. Now all of these are available. You not, you, they will be here all semester, so please get them early and have the syllabus in particular available early for you so that you can um, get all the dates in a little calendar so you will be uh, able to see them all. Now look, I'll show you what I mean. By putting this little uh, chevron, clicking it, it will show you the document. That's not a download. You come to these little bubbles, click that, and you can download this PDF. But what I wanted to show you, there we go, is in your syllabus, you're going to see these colored elements. That's journal one, the quiz. There's journal two, test one, journal three, test two. All of them have open and closed dates and times. That's what you need to be successful in this course. Get those dates and times in a, um, a calendar. Your syllabus is kind of like a compass or a road map. It enables you to know what's coming and what's been. I'll put the orientation video here as well. Now, I mentioned or I sort of alluded to that a lot of people have a misunderstanding about different disabilities, in particular psychological disorders, and we have a myth about what they are. Perhaps you know some of these myths. Well, you're not depressed, you're just not trying very hard, it's just elongated sadness, get over it. Well, that's a myth. There is such a thing as depression. Generalized anxiety disorder, there's all sorts of different variations, and they have criteria and science-based. So this is your assignment. Here are some myths that you could rely on, but you can find your own myth if you wanted, and you're going to do your project, your assignment, on a myth that you will bust. It's kind of a fun exercise to determine what is really a psychological about, a psychological disorder about, not just what we think it's about. Here are your journals. Again, there's your document and a short video that walks you through what's expected. I'll come back to your journals where I show you where they are and how to create or how to fill them in. This next one is a course outline. Now, your course outline for abnormal psychology is our agreement. It says, here are the topics that we're going to cover. Here's the academic breakdown of how much will be towards tests and how much towards assignments. And this is kind of our agreement. But it's also a summary of what this course is. So that if you go to another post-secondary course and want to take a program, they may require you to take a liberal arts or a gen ed course. If you've already got that, and have a 60% or better average, then you may get exempted. You'll need this document to show the other post-secondary institute so they can compare this course to their course to see that they match and therefore can grant an exemption. And then lastly, because this is a video assignment, ScreenPal is the website I would recommend you use. It's a free website. To record your screen, it records what's on your screen as well as recording your voice. And that's what I mean by making a video. You're going to screen record, kind of like what you're seeing now. You're seeing the screen and my voice, but you're not seeing me. So here is the tutorial. 
please take the time to view it early because it's easier to learn and see what you're up against than it is to, on the day before it's due, try ScreenPal and not know what you're doing. It's going to add some additional stress. Now I'm going to put that video in a few locations so that you can see it and find it easily. Now let's move to how to contact me and how to access your e-text. So, how to contact me. It's really pretty straightforward. Here's a little blurb about me. There's my email. Now I have a protocol I ask that you must include your name. You must fill in the subject line of every email. I don't respond to emails that don't have a name, that don't have a subject, or don't tell me what course I'm in. I teach five different courses, or sorry, eight different courses over two semesters and have about 200 students per semester. I need to know what course you're in to answer your questions. You can email me to meet with me virtually through WebEx or MS Teams. We can negotiate a time, let me know what times fit, uh, uh, fit for you, and let me know what it's about that we're meeting so I can be prepared. I'll send you a, a meeting link when we've agreed to a time. I make videos every Tuesday and Thursday. So I will not be emailing on those two days, but I will email and return emails Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Now, accessing your uh, e-text. Now, in this instance here, I've done a couple of things. One, you're going to need a CRN. Now, there's a CRN number for every course you take. You'll find it in Blackboard but I'm offering it to you here. It's 11911. You need to copy that number and have your student number available so that when you go to the student bookstore, that's what it looks like right there, you can put this number and your student number in these two boxes and it will produce for you the book that you need for this class. Yes, it is required and allows you to purchase it. So this video starts at the Georgian College entry web page and I show you how to get to the bookstore and this link takes you to the bookstore so let's try it all right and we're putting in one one nine one one you put your student number in so they can charge you you don't put it in you won't get the book and there's our book you have it for 180 days that essentially is two semesters so if you um, that gives you this book for that length of time. So uh, that's our e-text. All right, let's get back to here. Go over there. Now I've put in some videos that I found that some students find helpful. This first video is just some online success tips. In particular, I focus on time management. I also look at the importance of having a strong Wi-Fi signal if you're working from home and if you have multiple roommates there are some tips on how to keep your your Wi-Fi strong and then also in this video I walk you through some of the uh, services and supports that are there for students in an academic year the last video here is just on the second last video is just how to make a PDF document if you don't know how, I expect things to be put in PDF document when posted as an assignment. This shows you how to do it if you have a PC or a Mac. And then there's this one about how to make use of your calendar on your smartphone or your device. Not everyone knows how to use it, so I show you basically how to make a video or how to make a, 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 a alerts for all the due dates that will be coming your way. All right. Now, you know you've got a three tests to do and a quiz. This is where they're found. All of them are here. Now, you're seeing them all here at this point. On the 3rd of September, when you get into this shell, you won't see these three. This one will show, be oops, I'll change the date. I put the wrong dates. This is not the winter. This is summer, sp uh, fall. So I'll put September 3rd and September 20th. Sorry. These tests won't be visible to you. They will be visible on their opening days. That's why having these in your calendar are so important. You'll know when 
the first day of the test is because knowing the last day won't help you a whole lot it just gives you one day to make two attempts so let's have a look at how they operate this quiz operates kind of the same way it's only worth 10 points it's equal to the value of doing another journal so it's journal one and it's basically giving you some basic information. So let's do our first attempt. It'll take us to this basic information. I'll put the orientation quiz up there. And you can continue and it will provide you with your first question. Then you can say, yes, that's the one I want. Move to the next one, next, next one, move to the next one, get them all done, and then submit them. And that's all you do. Your tests will be the same, only is that they will be more questions and they'd be weighted with more percentage of your overall grade. Okay. I'm going to show you that this is where you can post your video. It's open as soon as you start the semester and it will be open until 5 p.m. on November 22nd. That's when it's due. This disappears on November 22nd at 5.01. So if we open it up, you get the same basic thing that we've seen with the test. You get a bit of information, what it's worth, how many attempts you have, and a description. And then we can start. So what's here is basically use the appropriate formatting for your support, for your videos and supporting documents. This is the format down at the bottom. You can drag the PDFs in here and copy and paste the URL if you want or copy and paste the URL and attach the PDFs by going to attach. Either way is acceptable just don't send them via messages and don't send them via an email. Put them where they belong right here. Post your Bust a Myth video assignment here. Alright. Now the way that looked is going to look familiar because they're going to look like these journals. There's your other four journals. Journal one is the quiz. These other four journals will pop up at different times in the semester. So let's have a peek. Basic information. Now I give instructions about what this is. Watch the video that I provide. Listen. Learn reflect on what did you learn what surprised you what did you think you had a good handle on or you know what is it that you really supported what is it that you gained from this is there's not a really a right and wrong and it's not I don't post the videos for you to judge them these are um, research based talks they're not open for well I don't believe that you've got to provide me with other evidence to do that and I'd rather this not be that place so don't judge it just reflect but you must do at least three paragraphs not less you can do more if you want but don't do less marks are judged based on that so there are these and you do them when they're due the calendar is looking pretty sweet at this time <laughs> Okay, let me show you what these weeks will look at. Will look like, sorry. Everyone will have a bit of a blurb and then a place to click. You get an introduction, how the learning objectives are connected, any to do's that I think are important, like do the quiz, that's important. There's the tutorial for, whoops, there's the tutorial for um, ScreenPal, that's important. But so is the weekly content. Now you get a part one and a part two. Many of the videos that I make in Abnormal Psychology will be part one, part two, and part three. One will be a description of the disorders. The other, the second will often be the causes. And then the third would be the treatments. So just for the exercise, I want to make sure you're clear that when you click on this, make it bigger and ensure that it's listed as HD and you'll be fine. Okay, all the videos that you need are going to be here. Now it's important to note that your tests are inclusive 
of what's in your textbook and what's in the videos. Okay? There we go. I think that about sums everything up that I wanted to accomplish in this orientation video. So I hope it worked out all right and I hope you really enjoy this course. So good luck everybody and please uh, do your best and enjoy yourself as much as you can. Bye now.